folio. This is going to be a folio that you can do a lot with. Uh, I'm going to make up the folio itself and then I'm going to show you how to take the folio papers and do a little mini book. So it'll be lots of fun getting into it. Okay, um, this is the cover. Um, I haven't got a name for it yet, but it's uh, doing poppies. And I saw an image and I thought, ah, that's exactly what I need to do. Because it's dreary here, we've got lots of rain, it's really cold. Um, I'm in South Australia, almost uh, on the edge, right on the, um, the water's edge, and it's been really miserable. So, back to the puppies. This is the cover. Um, it's nine and a half wide by seven high. And uh, the spine down the center, I've been using Fred Burlap as the um, distress ink because the, the paper is really quite gentle and I didn't want anything darker. Now, it's not put together, but this is how it's going to look. These are the page twos and they are attached. If you've done a folio with me before, they're attached with a tab and that gets attached right on the corner, right on the very edge, making sure that the top of the cover and this cover are matching. And if you have to distort it a bit, um, then go right ahead, but it has to be equal all the way. Uh, that's it for today. We'll go into the next episode. Bye. I've added the pockets for um, pages four and five, and I didn't show you those. I had originally planned on putting these on the back, but there's no need to do that because the pockets themselves cover everything up. But these are the ephemera that I've chosen for pages four and five, and we'll decorate that after I put on the two pockets, six and seven. And this is my working copy. We've got tabs on the bottom and the side. This one I decided to chop down so it's only this big. And these are the two pockets that you can use for here if you wish. So we'll get to that now. I've cut them. And we're going to cut off here and make that square. And I've done the same on this pocket. And you'll need to cut off this piece here on the smaller one. So that it sits flat. Okay, now I'll ink them and attach them. Ah, and then this one needs some more of it too. Okay, now. Okay, let's have a look at how far I've gone. This is the cover, spine, and this is the back. And then we've got two page twos that will open out. And I cut up the ephemera from page two and didn't mark where they belonged. So they just went in wherever they went. And you need to um, keep your ephemera inside, particularly if you're going to have 
to show it to people because otherwise you're going to get bent. Uh, these are the pockets. I printed out another page three because I liked the way they were defined in the black. These are just sitting here for the moment because we're about to get into page nine, page, no, page six and seven. And these are the six and sevens. And I can see that I didn't ink that up there. And I'm not going to try and ink it because it will just get messed up. So let's decide what we're going to do here because we've got a few options. We have the envelope, and if you want two envelopes, print out two pages. Easy. So we've got the envelope to cut out, and uh, we've got a little card here. I thought this would be nice to tuck in somewhere, so we'll just fold it down the middle, and you can embellish it. So we've got that to go. We've got these to go. I was thinking that they would be... Uh, long insert so that the colors hung out from the pockets so it's just going to be a matter of how you like it so we're going to leave the white unless you want a fussy cut and I hate fussy cutting um, but we'll decide how deep these are going to be because they're way too long but that's okay because it'll work. So I'm going to cut and um, I'm going to put these, well I'll leave those there for the moment. Okay, so back together. Okay, uh, I've folded the envelope bottom up, sides in, and I just put some tape right here. Don't glue it to the back and then you can see what happens when um, we print on the back but it's no big deal. Now this pops in to the one of the pockets. You can have two envelopes. You can do exactly what you want because it's your folio. Um, if you want two envelopes, just print out another one. I've got the little book here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it in here with one of the ephemera. Now, we've also got these pieces here, and this was just a brainstorming one, so I'm going to try and figure out what to do with these. They're obviously too long, but I was looking for something that would hang out and would be colourful because in ephemera you need to do more than one in a pocket I like two or three you need colour or um, some kind of design that will drag your eyes right to it and these colourful ones are really good it's also nice to have some plain ones and when you mess up with your distress ink you can hang them up and you can put them wherever you want. I always like to do some extras at the bottom here and these are perfect because there are three there and one of them would be ideal on this one here. So I'm going to cut this up and see what we can do to make it very interesting. We've also got two other sheets of ephemera, so we're, there's lots of lots of ideas here, lots of more colour if you like it, and there's a sheet of tags to the um, fits the little book with, or you can do these little ones totally up to you because it's your folio. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Now I've cut all of these and I didn't do very well with defining them to the space so these I will fix 
before you get your uh, files. Now, I like the fact that they're really bright and cheerful. And we have to figure out which two we're going to use. Do you want to use them behind? That's a good one. Two or three. You need colour or um, some kind of design that will drag your eyes right to it. And these colourful ones are really good. It's also nice to have some plain ones and when you mess up with your distress ink you can hang them up and you can put them wherever you want. I always like to do some extras at the bottom here and these are perfect because there are three there and one of them would be ideal on this one here. So I'm going to cut this up and see what we can do to make it very interesting. We've also got two other sheets of ephemera so where there's lots of lots of ideas here lots of more color if you like it and there's a sheet of tags to the um, fits the little book well or you can do these little ones totally up to you because it's your folio <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Now I've cut all of these and I didn't do very well with defining them to the space. So these I will fix before you get your uh, files. Now I like the fact that they're really bright and cheerful and we have to figure out two we're going to use. Do you want to use them behind? That's a good one for behind there. So we'll cut off maybe an inch. Yep, an inch will do it. Okay, and that tucks right in there. Maybe a bit more than an inch. Perfect, perfect. And we'll do this one the same. Okay, let's look at the finished folio. This is the cover and the back. And then we open it up and we have the page twos and then we open it up further. I've added some from um, page 13. Um, this one, this one, I think a couple of them here. I've added an ephemera to the little book and I've, I think, got these pretty well organised the way I want. This may be a bit too long, um, but these are perfect. And they, this is the, the, um, the image from page two, so it carries that through nicely. And the poppies from the cover. Yes, this definitely needs a bit off. You can't tell until you put it together what's going to work. And I think I might have some tape in the way there. I'll fix that. But we've got this one here. We've got this beautiful centerpiece that has lots of ideas. The envelope is in the back here. You can put in almost whatever you want, poetry, uh, thank you for the wonderful picnic, 
um, happy birthday or whatever. And then this is the other side. And we close it up. Now, I am going to take these papers for uh, the folks who don't want to be bothered with a folio and all the cutting out. And I'm going to make a mini book of it. It will be very similar to this. In the cover and the back will be the same. But it'll be different on the middle. Okay. Well, I'll catch up with you soon. And uh, make sure that you're on my um, email list so that you know when everything's happening. Uh, that's the only way you'll know. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.